All right, thanks so much for that, Patrick. So we'll continue our live team coverage tonight from the Bolivar Peninsula. People all along the Gulf Coast need to pay attention because there is so much uncertainty with the storm. For many, this storm may serve as a test run at the start of hurricane season. That's one way to look yeah. at it, right? 12 News reporter James Grant live for us at Crystal Beach. And James, set the scene for us. How's everybody doing? Well, Days Jordan, it was a beautiful day today on Bolivar, but it might be a different story this weekend. And Galveston County officials aren't the only ones watching that tropical system in the Gulf right now. Tracking the storm, everything. I've been doing everything. Angela Nagel and her soon-to-be husband, Anthony, are set to tie the knot Saturday at the Beauty and the Beach wedding venue on Bolivar. They've been watching Invest 92L just like many of us and have a backup plan in case the weather turns ugly. It'll be under the house and then they have uh, weather screens that go up and everything. So either way, it'll be at the same time, same day. We'll just have all the weather screens up and... It'll be okay. They reserved the venue a year ago and aren't going to let Mother Nature ruin the occasion. Just really hoping that it's going to be sunny and I can walk down those beautiful stairs and go get married where we want to. It's just 30 minutes of sun is all I ask for Saturday. While Galveston County Emergency Management Coordinator Scott DeFury can't promise sunshine all weekend, he tells me impacts from the system look to be minimal at this point. It has a, a easterly track to it, so... You know, it looks like it's going to, you know, probably miss us as of right now. The Fury says he met with the National Weather Service this afternoon. They told him there are several factors working against the storm and helping push it east, including wind shear. Despite the encouraging news, the Fury still encourages Galveston County residents to stay informed and be prepared. It's really important for people to, you know, take this as kind of, uh, you know, let me look at my plan. You know, what am I going to do? Are we good on supplies? Now, Tafuri also tells me Galveston County residents can go to the county's emergency management website, that's gcoem.org, to get the latest on the storm and more information on hurricane preparedness. But guys, like Patrick was just saying, it looks like we may dodge a bullet this time. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Live in Crystal Beach, James Grant, 12 News. Thank you, sir. 12 News is your hurricane headquarters. We'll be working around the clock the next couple of days for the latest forecast and the storm track anytime. Just text the word hurricane to 409-838-1212 and we'll send you everything you need right on your phone.